<sighs> so I'm just about to go live and let me press this button real fast right here but if you're watching on YouTube if you're watching on Twitch yo I am back I know I was playing God of War and everything but I decided I'm like hey what's this right here and there was another Dog and Rampa game which was a fan made game called Project uh, Eden's Garden completely caught me off guard I've seen a couple different um, shows I've seen a couple different um, like stories that people kind of rewrote fan characters but I've never actually seen someone go out of their way and spend two years plus creating a Unity game for Dagarampa, you know? And it looked like it was gonna be pretty damn good. So, you know, I guess we'll pretty much get into it. If you're watching on my personal channel, whether this be TSV or my personal channel, that's Slythe Kid, uh, I'll drop a link to our other channels and everything in the comments. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch and YouTube. If you're watching on Twitch, don't forget to follow me on, um, you know, other stuff. I can't see you guys' comments right now, actually, so I probably should actually ask Justin about that, but I'll call him in a second. But looking forward to playing this game. Played the first Dog and Rampa, played two, played three. Um, yeah, and, and I guess we'll pretty much just jump right in. Let me text Justin. Because I just realized I can't actually even check this stream <laughs> like this while I'm playing. Unless I stop the gameplay. But uh, let's see what's going on here. All right, you got your options you got your credits and everything I seen the options earlier so I'll just start with things all right so on the other dog and rumpus I played uh, pretty much mean difficulty all across the board I'm not sure how this one's actually gonna go but I'm gonna go mean difficulty because I can't be I can't, I can't be going out weak I can't be on kind and everything not to say you're weak if you're on kind it's not it's not it's totally not where I'm going with that let's see how it goes Second, life has no real meaning, it says. We exist just by chance, born to a planet that didn't want us to begin with. That is some gruesome, dark-ass shit. Now, I just want to tell you guys ahead of time, I might not go through it and read everything that comes up here. You know, I read kind of fast, so, you know, if you guys are playing this, you know, watching this with me, uh, Markel, that means you. I don't know how fast you read, bruh, so, you know, I try to give you guys a second. If That's if you're not reading faster than I am. People like me, those who shine brighter than any others, uh, or than the others, who have an influence on our greatest society, Ultimates. We're known as Ultimates. I already like how this is pretty much starting up, and I can tell I'm getting tired of reading already. Yo, so we got Justin over here, about to come into frame, apparently. So, I actually do need you here to play this. Oh, you do? Actually, yeah, pretty heavily. You know why? Why? I realize I can't even look at the Twitch. So you should, <laughs> you should bring up your laptop. Set it right there with the chair, and then uh, we'll just plug in the HDMI to, you know, I'll put it on this screen along with this one as well. Right. You know, or we'll just plug in the little uh, aux thingy, you know what I'm talking about. So, uh, yeah, anyway. Ultimate titles are awarded to exceptionally talented high school and college students. Doctors who can cure the incurable, engineers who build machines to improve millions of lives. The most influential politicians, the most creative architects, these are the people who deserve lifelong recognition, who define what it means to be a true ultimate. Really interested in seeing what the, uh, oh. I can fuck with that. I, <laughs> this man's a master debater. I was wondering how the voice acting... I was wondering how the voice acting was actually going to be on this, and I, I, was, I wasn't I was sure, because sometimes I'm a little concerned, you know how it goes, but this sounds nice, I like it. He, guess what Guess what title he is? Who? He, the, the main character. Isn't the ultimate detective thing? Uh, no, that's V3, remember? Oh, um, on this one, he's the ultimate debater. Oh, <laughs> Just immediately, I'm like, okay, we're starting off as the master debater. I can, I can get behind Shut this. Up. I know what they did. Here. No, no, you know what you did there. Just like your fucking fantasy football team, Master Bateman. Hey, look, we got to play on the Ravens' name, Rashad Bateman. That's not, that's not, you know, anything out of the normal. That I, should I be my name weird. if you go off, off of things out of the normal. Actually, let me uh, 
do a little aux cord thing so you can actually hear it. I don't know if you'd be able to see the thing from there. So I'm gonna make sure he can actually hear this out loud. This is not going like I thought it was actually gonna go or as smoothly as I thought it was gonna go. My mic! Ah, oh, my pecan sandies. Anyway. Now you don't gotta go on auto. Okay, so. What's it that you're looking at? Oh, looking at the actual, uh, he's, he's given like a, a, a description. Sorry. I was trying to stream this on YouTube, but you know, it is what it is. Back, back to the game, though. Fuck. Oh, he speaks. Yeah, you see what I mean about the voice acting? Like, this is pretty good. Mr. Damon Maitsu, the ultimate debater. It's funny because I'm sure he just said his name. I can't remember how he pronounced his last name. For your contributions as an ultimate, we cordially invite you to attend Eden's Garden Academy, a specialized, let's be honest, Hope Speak Academy, yeah. a specialized college for academic-based talents. At our unique academy, you will not only develop a tighter grasp on your respective skill set, but you and the other ultimate students who, ultimate yeah. students who, shut up, who received this invitation will gain an ever important proficiency as, at leadership, communication, and persuasion. In an age where anyone can be called ultimate, we hope you will join us and assume your rightful place as the true face of talent. Please keep the contents of this invitation as well as the attached registration material strictly confidential. See, that's kind of sketchy to me, even from like... Yeah, took, I'm like, bro, like, you well, I, I can't show people the I was letter? Say, you invite me to a school and then you say keep it confidential? Nah. Yeah, see. I'm like, no, nah, I, I don't like it already. Sounds like some Integrity of our program is built on the foundation of privacy. Eden Gar Eden's Garden, an ultimate academy for the true ultimates. It's bro, like, yeah, like yeah, ultimate academy. We, we know exactly what it is, though. See, now, my thing here, though, is I'm like, I'm hoping that they decide to, to dump the whole It's Junko plot 24-7. Yeah. So now that it's different characters, it's going to actually really be somebody random that you can't really tell, you know? Yeah, you don't know anything. Yeah, because I'm like, make that a little harder to figure out. Because in the first one and then in the uh, V3, I feel like it was a little too easy. Second one, of course, we didn't think you it was fucking Junko. <laughs> you definitely got bullshitted on some of the uh, parts. That's facts. It was built in partnership with the Ultimate Talent Program, a government institution that has awarded Ultimates titles to people for almost the last century. You don't apply for the UTP school, they scout for their students, which is how I found myself receiving a letter from Eden's Garden Academy. It looks to be an amazing school, immaculate architect architecture, incredible workspaces, and access to resources beyond anything I've ever seen. Everything about the school is perfect. It's truly worthy of being called Ultimate. In my 18 years of living, I like how... <laughs> <laughs> I like how they had the specific. They were like, you know what? We're gonna make this college just in case we got some weird shit in yeah, here with the, with the characters, 18, everything. 18. Like, all these characters are eighteen. I swear to God. Yeah, it's like this is not Japan. We are not going to necessarily get away with putting out some crazy shit exactly. if there's something crazy in here like that. And I meant that in like a real legal term, like like you yeah. know, and, you know. I've accomplished more than most people could even dream of. Within this random and chaotic existence, it feels like I was destined to be great. The come down about to be hard. Pause. Yeah, that was, that was After what seemed like hours of waiting, the train arrived before me. It wasn't as nice looking as I expected, at least not for a school of this caliber, but it was undeniably the one. With luggage in one hand and a pamphlet in the other, I boarded the train. What type of luggage does this nigga have? Like, three pieces of paper and a binder? Yes. This is the start of my new life, the start of an even greater career. Might be a minimalist. For the first time in my life, I finally, I'll finally be among people as great as me. This nigga feeling himself. I mean, I'm, I'm with it. I'd rather him be like that than be... I mean, he is the master debater. Annoying, but... He should be feeling himself. Look, Let's see. Waifu. This is nice quality. Waifu. Waifu. Oh, yeah, the waifu. golfer and her right there. We, we saw the trailer. I hope so we don't I get, know, some like, golfer. trapped with anybody. <laughs> no, yeah, it's like, yeah, that's not a yeah. it's not a dude. Willing to bet the biker in the back is actually a girl somehow. I can believe it. Huh? Someone else? The voice acting is not bad. Hey, hey, welcome to the Eden's Club. Well, it's more accurate to say Eden's Garden Academy. It sounds quality. It doesn't sound yeah. like somebody speaking into just a mic or anything like that. I like that. Oh, a girl with pink hair is some guy in a wolf costume. <laughs> One guy in a weird beanie staring intensely at me. What the hell? Are these creepy people really attending the same academy as me? 
Apathetic to my situation, the train continued from his halts. Looks like I'm stuck here for now. I guess I should find somewhere to sit. Hey, you, new guy. I like how it sways between. Oh my god, I missed this! Yeah, they, they captured the feeling pretty well, though. Especially with everybody just randomly, yeah, like, panned out everywhere. Yeah, like 2D on a 3D plane. Yeah, right? <sighs> I seem to have caught the attention of one of the other passengers. What do you want? Cool, so, uh, I was wondering something. Whatever it is, I'm sure you can ask an employee. I'm honestly not in the mood. Seems like they basically decided to make Biaki the main character yeah. this time. Uh, sounds like a dick. Frowning and dropping his head, he walked away. Damn, he got dejected fast. Excuse me, but don't you happen to know when the final stop is, do you? A girl's voice suddenly chimed in from behind me. Now, I am not your boy Roshi. We have no voice modulators or anything, and I'm not about to have Justin over here using a woman's voice. With these voice modulators. Why would I have to be the one? Well, because yeah, they switch because your, your voice is lighter than mine. But not only that, y'all don't want me to read. I <laughs> suck at reading. Jeez, can people just leave me alone for five minutes? Not a clue, but you can try looking for it. Damn, she broke oh, as hell! You Fuck! Like a grown ass man. <laughs> the words got cut, <laughs> caught in my throat when I turned to look at her. She looked like Zarya as far she as like, like, the, like how muscle bound she is. This woman had to be twice my size. You know it's not dog around, but if you don't got some jacked woman. Right? She seems like she's a nice lady, though. Hmm, is something wrong? <laughs> don't fret, darling. I just see who else is around. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> With a good. small wave, she walked away. The people here just keep getting weirder and weirder. I really hope none of them are in my class, this bro. This feels is your class. So nice, though. Like the train. They captured it so well. Yeah. Once again, they even got like the camera shifting and like moving correctly too. They definitely studied Dagarampa really well, I'll tell you That's that. That's facts. Is his name Damon or Damon? Uh, now, you, now you, you pretty much got me. I don't remember how you pronounce it. I think it was Damon. Oh, okay. Not wanting to be bothered any further, I quickly found myself a seat by the window. I'll just go back and look at the thing after we're done. The Damn, situation the was nothing art. like I expected, but at least the view from the train was nice. Listen, whoever made this, they need to hire him, honestly. Mountains framed by a deep blue sky, crystal clear rivers that sparkled like jewels in the sunlight. It couldn't be a more radical departure from home. Scenery cool? continued to pass, time flying by with it, huh? Are you streaming this on YouTube as well? I tried, but Streamlabs is actually being an asshole here and was just yeah. like, now you can, if you signed in with that account, you can only stream to that one account until you get the uh, upgrade that was like 20 bucks. Basically. Okay, so this is just on Twitch. Yeah, so if I get it tomorrow, then I can put it on Twitch and YouTube. Okay. But I was like, fuck it, I'll just upload this file to YouTube. It's whatever. Makes sense. I guess if people really want to see it that badly, you know, it'll come up for them and they recommend it. Chatter from the others on the train eventually softened, leaving just me in the rolling mountains. See, she a waifu, though. Nice looking girl. A woman in professional attire turned her nose up to the air and started sniffing. Why would you smell it? After a moment, the expression on her face turned stern, stone cold serious. I wonder if it smells like gas. The air doesn't smell right. Yo, we getting into it that goddamn quick? Oh, she's Australian? I can see that. I smell something too. Damn, with some nice looking girls here. Could you describe it? Kinda chemically. Something's about to explode. Yeah. That bag Yo! This man got full on gas. Okay, I guess that is a dude. As far as you Maybe. know, it could be a voice. But the sound like, yeah, I, I can see that happening. Pardon me. What the fuck? He was already here when I got on the train. Oh, that's not his bag then. After expecting the outside of the bag, he began fiddling with his lock. Oh no. I don't never like that sound. Uh, that wasn't the oh. lock. Huh? Somebody poked him up already? I'm all good. I just feel kind of... They're all falling asleep. Some type of noxious gas, maybe. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm the same end of the car, the guy who had been staring at me earlier. I'm not feeling so good either. What did you say? Just a huge shit ton of chloroform? <laughs> People are dropping like flies. Holy. For real? So who's driving the train? 
I'm assuming a conductor or something. Obviously, it's not about to be one of the students. That'd be weird. The ultimate train guy. They can't even get out. Oh, crap. It's not opening. Why isn't it opening? I'm going to try my hand at it. Can you step aside for a second? You should unmute that real fast. Make sure you can actually hear that the game, too. He yanked at the door, but... Really? Yeah, you can hear the like click. I'm actually turn this up. That's one reason why I said that. Something told me to. Oh yeah. You can hear now. Okay. Damn, the car is locked up as tight as a prison. I'm glad I figured that out early. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta be careful about the test versus this. But I felt, but I left to take a piss like an hour ago. Wait, the bathroom? <laughs> Let me try something else. The big man rolled his shoulders and threw himself against the door with all his might. I don't know why I imagine like the fucking Uzi shit. Oh! <laughs> he groaned his step back, revealing he <laughs> hadn't even left a mark on the door. What? That did nothing. I just put an auto for a little bit. Ah, there's another boy who's fallen, a girl too. My thing is, would you want to get out? It looks like they're over a mountain. Why is everyone passing out? <laughs> Maybe it's got something to do with the bag we... Out, like a light. They around me had grown thick with a strange, pungent smell. Yeah, I hope there's not like a body or anything, but I wouldn't imagine they would pass out, obviously, but that... I could taste it, feel the sting in my eyes. Oh god, no, don't. You know, plea left my lips. I felt my strength trail away with it. The world flickered around me, and then I like this how this is like their way of um changing things, yeah. basically, where it's not like it just went hazy all of a sudden. Something they were like poison. Oh fuck? shit, motherfucker! Pro I love the look of this. Right? Captured the vibe so well. They're making me about to cry. Burp. No. Man, <laughs> <laughs> if your mom did that earlier. She did? Yeah. What my mom know about Gucci? I don't think she knew it was Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like almost like an air conditioner. Sound like you wrapped that for a second. You racist. But if it's an air, air con... Why am I so warm? I weakly opened my eyes. They took his kidney. Yo! Above me was a concrete ceiling. Concrete ceiling? My body's so heavy, but I had to get on my feet. Yo, he don't have the vid, does he? I'd hope not. I had to see where I was. I actually need, like, way more water myself. I'm crampy as hell. Same. Huh? No! It's a girl. I don't think she's dead. Chill out. I got scared. <laughs> Why would they put her on the title if she was just dead? I mean, they could. D3. Yeah, true, true. She's still breathing. Oh, okay. I would hope she's still breathing. Like, damn, what the fuck was he even pointing at? Not only that, if I was him, I'd stand right in that corner because I don't want any type <laughs> of allegations. I'm not even touching her. Hey, can you hear me? She gonna be the partner? I'd assume. She is hot. No so. response. Now my first suspect for who it is is her. Just pretty much just off top. Bring my face closer to hers. I repeated the question. Nah, bro. I'd rather you just shake her than put your face that close. close. Can you hear me? Why isn't she waking up? They definitely got like some type of like bookie slipped in their drink early or like like chloroformed or something. Oh shit! <laughs> fucking caught you just as bad as he did. I know. I'm so fucking weak. Her eyes snapped open, causing me to jump back. Hello. I was just testing you. That actually would be smart on her oh, point to yeah. see, like, if he's asleep, she's gonna, he's gonna do whatever he's actually gonna do. Smart. See what type of person he is. To see what you would do. Not every day you would find a body on the floor. That. I like this. Correct. It feels, it feels right. I woke up before you. Yes. So how you know she, she just let me you, sleep? Uh, anyways. How long was I out for? Not sure. 
Once again, I guess it's a smart point. See what type of person he is, whether she can trust him or not. Yeah, see if she law and order the fuck out of him. <laughs> you see. See. Yeah. Hmm. Which is why I needed to see for myself how much I could trust you. I like how she's looking right now. <laughs> you know it's bad. I saw the face she was making. I was like, I like that face. It's like it's it's a face of disapproval. <laughs> Says a lot about you and the women you've been around growing up. We're not going to get into that, though. I have mommy issues. Clearly. As an excuse to break off conversation, I started to look blah, blah, blah. I didn't see that. It was definitely some kind of boiler room, but there didn't seem to be a light switch anywhere. The only light came from a vent set far back in the room. I like this game. Yeah, I'm stuck. Looking at my close surroundings, I was standing on a platform with stairs that led down to the rest of the room. The lower the floor was mildly flooded. I'd say water reached a little above my ankles. My ankies. It was a place that had clearly been abandoned for a long time. Damn, I just realized that it looks even like it when he zoomed out for a second. Yeah, it does. Like I said, they captured it perfectly. Even with all the strange things around me, my gaze kept returning to this girl. She's fine as hell. kind of always felt like, um... Outside of Kingdom Hearts stuff, there's something that almost seemed familiar. Outside of Kingdom Hearts stuff, Unity always seemed better to me for, yeah. um... For RPG type stuff. She was on a train I boarded. No shit. I know you only looked around and saw them once, but I thought that would have ended up pretty obvious. But I guess he really wasn't paying attention yeah. to them. Yeah. I just realized her hair is like going like turning white at the bottom. Oh yeah. Kind of cool, cool feature. Oh. Be great if we actually see one uh get announced too. Strange smell started to come from that travel bag, and then everything turned black. Right. Listen to me. A gas bomb or something. Yeah, because we did hit him. I hope that's his partner. Someone clearly wanted to knock us out. It's crazy, because they're all Let's 18. See. Now we can say whatever the hell we want. <laughs> Don't don't make it sound like you wanted to. <laughs> just just stop. <laughs> I get your point. I'm so they bad. were all eighteen on the first game. All the all the games. Why are we on? The, we are in a training. Oh mode. yeah. Yeah. You just didn't remember they were eighteen. They didn't remember they were eighteen till the end. Considering I sat surrounding some sort of boiler room, as she raised her hand to push up against her glasses, something large and metallic on her wrist caught my eye. No, she got the Looked Apple vaguely watch. like a watch. Yeah. She literally does. Yeah. What's that on your hand? Well. You tell me. It appears you have one as well. Oh God, oh, that's gonna be that shit. situation. It's gonna be like them collars for yeah. or those uh, bands from the from uh, the third game. I mean third show. On this one too. It's those words. <clears throat> I look down. Sure enough, I was wearing the same device. I'm gonna have to avoid spoilers on this like crazy. It'd been fitted tightly around my wrist, but it felt like I was wearing nothing at all. Damn it! Hey, I'm, I'm not wearing this. As I grabbed a hold of the device and pulled, a tiny surge of electricity Damn. ran through my wrist. Yeah, you better be careful fucking around with that. How humiliating. <laughs> Dude. Told you I'm be on and off with the reading. Look. That should be like the ultimate mystery for these shows. Like, who was putting all this shit for him? <laughs> See, like this. She tapped the face of the device. It slowly lit up and displayed a holographic image. Hmm. Oh, so like a watch. I mean, Correct. my nigga, it looked like a watch. It's just projecting a blank screen for some reason. I'm willing to bet that's where Mona so... Kuma shows up. Yeah. Either way, it seems we're stuck with this device for the time being. I wonder what would happen if you actually damaged it. Moving that sounds kind of scary. Well, you're standing there, the least you can do is give me your name. I mean, she says that, but, you know, she, she didn't say nothing about her name wants. either. <laughs> we didn't have much of a meeting on the train anyway. <laughs> Damon Maitsu, or Maitsu, ultimate debater, I'm a student at Eden Gardens interesting. Academy. How interesting. Eh? Huh? What is? Thank you for telling me more than I asked for. 
You can at least tell me your name. As for myself, you may call me Eva Tsunaka. This reminds me of Gundam. It's oh, nice no. to meet you. Gundam, Tanaka. Oh, 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 Gundam, oh, 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 in the, oh, In the game, yeah. I'm sure it is. He was one of the best characters. That's facts. He was actually my favorite character in the series. Didn't he have, like, um... Jordan Him and Kaito. Too? Yeah. His dark, his four dark Davis of destruction. Yes! <laughs> Welcome to Project Eden's Garden. A lot has happened already, and I'm sure you're eager to investigate. That's facts. But there are some things you should get acquainted with first. To access the trinket, or as Damon so colloquially put it, the watch, simply press the F1 key. To view past dialogue, press the F2 key. I do hear that that's on and off, like how well it works. To access observation mode, press the enter key. Press the enter key again to exit this mode. Oh, and use WASD to keys to pan around the room. If you ever need to revisit this information, check out the control panel. It's just one F3 key away. That's all for now. Go forth and explore. I like that they didn't leave you doing this too much. So how do you save? That's what I was just about to ask. But it said something about the menu being F1. Wow, that's amazing. Damn, they went in one of this. Look how high quality this shit is. It's so clean. Anything in the settings? Yeah, oh, there you go. Okay. Always gotta save. I save through fear and anxiety. I'm sure you do. Okay. It's kinda hard to remember what to press on this damn thing. I could listen to the sound of the menu all day. That was satisfying. I like that. Damn. Uh, what exactly am I looking at here? Oh well. There's a generator under the vent. Is this what making the what's making the mechanical noise? You know what's funny? A little bit outside of all right, we take that off auto. Don't need that happening. Yeah, you investigating some shit and yeah. The, yeah, terrible. But I was just about to say, it's funny because in certain aspects, especially the small aspects from like things going from screen to screen, it seems even better and more updated than V3 was. Yeah, it does. And that was a, a you know an actual full on. Well, this is a full on game studio, obviously if they've made it, but you know what I mean. That was yeah, the, the like, creators, yeah, you know. And, and not only that, I'm pretty sure they had a much more pool of money. Than yeah, that. of but course. Not only that though, you still got to account though the time gap in between. That's true. Because when did V3 come out? What was it like 2018? 2017, I think. Yeah, this specifically. And so it was the getting designed like 2014 yeah. 15. Yeah, so then they have updated shit. Too. It just goes to show though what Unity and um, Unreal can like yeah. just let indie developers and different people do when they do an actual project. You work for a year or two, especially with people that actually know what they're doing. Yep. You can come up with a really good game. Seeing it in water put me a bit on edge. I was thinking of checking out the window above it, but now I'm not so sure. Yeah, I wouldn't touch that if I were you. Maybe if you were Luffy. Big Mom clearly didn't notice that, though. Yeah. No spoilers. There might be something useful in this pile of dusty boxes. Hmm. Light bulbs, duct tape, a bunch of screws. Nope. Screwed over, it's nothing man. in here but junk. Hello. What is it? Uh, nothing. It's back because I thought he was going to be that person the whole time, but apparently it's not the thing. The camera? Sure is, yo. They try to record some stuff. Already. Ah. Staring, staring at me from the corner room was an expensive looking security camera. Had this been recently installed, it seemed better suited for a vault than a crappy boiler room. You know, it's the camera, too. Yeah. yeah, it's really out of place. Do you think someone's watching us through it? I mean, the camera's going to be there for a reason, bro. It doesn't look like it's turned on, so I doubt it. I see. Perhaps that's for the best. What do you mean? If someone is watching us, it's possible they are the same person who put these wrist straps on us. She makes a decent point. That seemed to be it. The, the room's too run down for me to investigate anything else. Ah, would be a quick way to see if the water was, uh, you know, going to electrocute huh? you or not. Yeah. Hmm. The hell? Gotta be careful. Can't you see? 
Oh, well, I mean, you woke up in a strange place. That'd be the last thing I'd be worried oh, yeah. about. <laughs> the wet socks suck. Yeah. <laughs> Sounded like it was coming from the direction of the Let's event. See. Yeah, but definitely must be the generator. Damn. We're lucky the water isn't conductive. Those exposed wires would be bad otherwise. Interesting. For such a small generator, it sounds like it's running a lot of power. Surprisingly, it's surprising how this noise alone wasn't enough to wake us up. The one thing I hate about reading, especially reading out loud just in general like this, is the fact that every now and then, it's like ADD kind of makes me just go off yeah. point like, ah, whatever, just sum up the sentence, don't say the whole thing. So it's like, forced me to use more energy. Whatever knocked us out on the train must have been pretty strong. Anyway, that explained the, the wiring noises. I wonder where all the power is going to. High up on the wall was a vent. What could be on the other side? Do you want to look through that? <laughs> I'd have yeah, to see I do. Me. You said what? What? <laughs> wow. I mean, look, she went to test the water. Yeah, I'm like, yo, you want to yeah. test the water? I mean, Somebody's going to climb up on somebody's shoulders. Well. Uh-huh. Seriously? I'm not doing that. You get on my shoulders, we'll give you a boost, and you can look through the window. Fair. Fair. But shouldn't I be the one giving you a boost? <laughs> oh, oh! I I need a drink of water. <laughs> Not here. Uh, so, I like her character a she lot. Definitely best girl so far. A lot more than I probably should like her character. But uh, let, let let's actually move on. Shit, let's see what we can handle. Shit. <laughs> Saying that, she stooped in front of the generator and motioned for me I'm to come talking. over. Make sure to tuck your feet behind my back. I waited over there, but she better not die. Yeah, because she's a <laughs> wife. Awkwardly positioned myself on her shoulders. Are you sure you can do this? Like she's also kind of worried about him looking up her skirt. Man, fuck that. I don't know about the I'm skirt. I'm fine. Just look through the window already. Yeah. All right. Time to investigate. Yeah, another vent. The room just beyond it. I can't see what's inside the room though. Both these vents are in the way. Taking a closer look at the boiler room vent, I noticed there were hinges bolted to the upper corners. No shit. Does this mean the vent can be open? Wrapping my fingers around <laughs> the grate in front of me, I pulled as hard as I could. I got it open. Can you see better now? Although the second vent still obstructed a lot of room, I was able to make out the legs of tables and chairs. It looks like a fucking dining room. It looks nice too. They're pretty fancy looking. You're just in some rich guy's basement this whole time. It's the floor of some fancy room. We must be in a building with multiple levels. Weird that this vent opens into another room instead of outside. Huh? Or eh? Just beyond the chairs in the very corner, very corner of the room, there was something peeking out. Oh, God. <gasps> Somebody got bodied already? Damn! Fuck. I felt my chest tighten. Is he also passed out? Not in this game, he might not be. Yo, you think they're gonna make the blood like pink again? Oh no, that shit need to be red. You know what? Fuck it, make it pink. It's Dog and Rumpa classic. Yeah. Uh. I I. Uh, passed out? Nah. He's dead. I don't know if passed out is it, my guy. So. Focus. I mean, who dragged the bodies in each room? Somebody strong as fuck. Monokuma's uh, puppet, you know, the little robots. Oh, yeah. Press the R key, I'll confirm the short. The fuck? Just in case you get any second thoughts. That, that is a creepy ass noise. Spooky ass whooping. <laughs> as soon as I was out of the water, I threw my socks and shoes, threw on my socks and shoes, and ran straight to the door. Ironically enough, that still makes his shoes wet, but Ooh. not as wet. 
old matted color with nothing else to them. No wall decor, no windows, no life whatsoever. However, there was one thing that stood out. At the very end of the hallway where the corridor took a sharp turn was what looked like to be, a, to be sunlight hitting a wall. Does that mean there's an exit right around that corner? Now I don't want to walk around there. Oh, scared the fuck out of me, shit. <laughs> Hmm? See how they get Oh, it. she could leave? You see. She had to care for doing that. So Oh, she was caring? Shit. Listen to me. He was like, yeah, alright. Come again. No. Really? These motherfuckers, I swear to God. To <laughs> know with their song? <laughs> yes. They definitely know how to make this shit creepy. How does that get in the way of finding help? Unless she didn't want to leave me here alone. I can't figure her out at all. She also strikes me as the type of character where she's not necessarily as tough as she likes to try to seem. Oh, really. yeah, we'll see her. Where it's just, and I can't blame right. her in this case. You wake up, it's just like, you probably shouldn't go away from the one person who walked in this creepy-ass hall by yourself. Yeah. Just wait till they wake up. The rooms were just a bunch of storage closets, completely dilapidated, filled with random stuff. That, that was the case for every room? Truth. If you don't believe me, you can check for yourself. Check anyway, she's not a credible source. It's my great grandmother's brother's friend's motivational calendar once said. <laughs> you can progress if you don't have the will to move. You they can't even progress. Have the tiny whips. Yeah. Little shit. Whips. Since you're in a hurry, hold down shift to sprint. Last but not least, proceed with caution. You never will know what could be hiding around the corner. No. Excuse me, nigga. I swear to God, if you got some goddamn. Bro, they gotta chill here, out. You, you hear this game and the sound? The thing is that they're going to do even more so than we've previous... Oh hell nah. You see the motion blur? Come on, bro. That they they didn't do previously in the other games, in my opinion. And it's take some of the biggest moments that everyone loved about Dragon Rampa and then like make them more expansive. Yeah, so is... that eerie-ass vibe and stuff they would sometimes put in, yeah. there's going to be a lot of it this game, there's I feel like. There's a lot of like. fear and anxiety going on right now. Yes. Storage closet. <laughs> Got to check on the closet before I just run straight down the hall. I already know this game is going to have a fucking ball with you, nigga. The rumors are always almost identical to what Eva or Eva had, uh, had described earlier. There was no real organization or meaning to anything. It was just filled with completely random crap. I see. It's like, look, I, I just got to check. We just met. Especially when we might have found help. Look. I just had to make you sure. Got a check. Gotta make sure she's a she's a you know trustworthy type of person. I'm not gonna believe everything gonna at face say, value. You, you just woke she up in a random ass place. This man. I'm not about to I'm not about to press shift and hold nothing. Okay. Okay. Body like they were just saying. Down. That's what I feel like they're gonna do at some point. It's like more of a moving jump scare type of thing. Yeah. Feels like a fucking Silent Hill game is what this feels like. Eerie as hell. The upper floor was in a lot better condition than the one below, but that wasn't saying much. Water stains covered some parts of the walls and ceiling. I could only guess a pipe had broke and started leaking. There didn't seem to be any mold at the very least. At least the other one looked like a school, so, like a yeah. boarding school you'd want to be in it's if it wasn't like crazy. Death. Yeah. The room with the unconscious man should be above and adjacent to the bullet room. The that means it must be. Yeah, it does strike me that. Yeah. That means it must be on the other top of this yeah. hallway, correct? Other side. Yeah, given we've walked away from the bullet room to get here. All right, let's investigate. Bro, where is everybody else? That's my question. Bro, go, go turn back on her. What is this? I, thought, I was like, yo, is that a, a, a pit bull with a... I can barely even see it. Of a girl dressed in a creepy mask. No, what kind of cult shit are they on? Looking at it for too long, it's just going to freak me out. Yeah, I, I'm with you on that, bro. I'm out of that. Hmm. 
There must be something. No. It's definitely not the room with the man. It's too close to the stairs. Right. Oh, so it doesn't even matter. She's really upset that you're doing this. She, she can be mad at me if she wants. <laughs> I'm sure you would like her to be mad at you. It's the, as, soon as, she, as soon as she gave the disapproving look, yep. he was sold. Me somewhat, but not as much as him. I, look. Alright. Okay. Okay, so this is going to end up the same place, so I guess they just want me to There's go. There's another door down that hallway, though. Yeah, but I think she's just gonna say the same thing every time we try to go in somewhere. It's locked. You know that door was locked, right? Well, I bet this is everyone's rooms, most likely. Maybe. It's not enough. Hello? I was about to say. This is definitely not the right way. Okay, well, excuse the fuck out of me. Boom. Oh, God. What the fuck? What? The portraits. Yeah, they look terrifying. Luigi's Mansion. It's gotta be some type of group or something like that, because they all wear the same exact mask. This must be the room. Taking a deep breath, I pushed open the large doors. I tell my kids if they ever receive an invitation to a school and says they're the ultimate whatever it is, I'm like, do not accept that. <laughs> it's a pretty stylish looking place. It's a lot better maintained than the rest of the building. Uh, bro, the guy's body. I was about to say, I'm like, the guy's body? Bench should probably be... <sighs> Yo! Come on, chick. Huh? Before I had a chance to react, the woman drove her fist directly into the side of my side of my head. Damn! Damn! Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? Damn it! Why did you just hit me? I'm not gonna embrace a stranger with open fucking arms. You could have been a murderer. Somebody's a murderer. So your instinct is to attack everyone, everything you see. That's actually a decent instinct. Yeah. Hey, I've already spared one guy in a suit. I sparred one guy in a suit. I'm not letting go. M ah! I'm not letting my guard down any a second time. Guy in a suit. He was he the nigga that was laid out the whole out. time. Exactly. Huh? Hello. This guy's like, I'm normal. Hi, I'm normal. Basically. The so, outfit he's wearing. We've met before, haven't we? Curious. I was about to say. I recall seeing your faces on the train. I'm pretty sure the two of you were standing next to each other. Yo, when somebody kills somebody and we find out that I didn't mean to do that. No, you didn't. When they find out, they uh, it's gonna be a sad breakdown of a character. You I can tell. See, see, this is why I don't want to watch this. <laughs> I'm not ready to see people die and get sad and hear a sad backstory and reasons. No. Right. We only formally met a few minutes ago. Oh. Anyways. Well, you were still knocked out by that sleeping gas stuff, right? Soybean. Don't remind me, soybean. 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 Yeah, that's right. I said it. You're she a soybean, just of, like this uh, loser next to me. She reminds me of that mechanic girl from D3. Yeah, I okay, guess it. Um, oh, Mew. She's just as kinky. Right. Science. I disagree, but we should focus on what happened on the train. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what the fuck happened, but one second I was on the train, the next I was surrounded by total darkness. They like some strong uh, women on this game. And I approve of every part of it. Hell I'm yeah. not even gonna lie. Toxic. <laughs> the place was like a solitary confinement chamber. I thought I was gonna suffocate in there. What are you talking See about? That? See that pantry over there? Yeah. Turns out the door was unlocked. Jeez. You inside that pantry? <laughs> when you kicked open the door, I nearly jumped out of my skin. <laughs> <laughs> like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> what the hell were you doing while she was in there? Waking up? Yeah, waking up. Already. Isn't it unfair? I got stuffed into some tiny pantry while this guy had the entire floor to himself. Whoever's responsible for this must have been jealous of my talent. You won't believe Golf. me how how many jealous bastards turn violent in this industry. Huh? Industry? Hey. What's with the dumb face? You know who I am, right? Was I supposed to? <laughs> Uncultured swine. My name's that Grace Madison, me. ultimate golfer. Don't forget it. Sweetie. You know it's funny. I only remember some of the ultimates when we saw from the trailer. And it was like her, and I remember the history dude. I remember the uh, marksman. Oh, yeah, yeah. He had a whole sniper in his goddamn <laughs> hand. Ah, oh, they even did the thing. They did the thing! I love this. This is so perfect. I see. The ultimate golfer. Uh, of course. Since the two of you were on that train, that must mean your ultimate as well. What about you? Hmm? Can you tell me your ultimate talent? 
I'm Wolfgang Akere, the ultimate. Wolfgang? Oh my god, he's a lawyer? He looks like a lawyer. Oh, you can't trust him. He's gonna be a formidable foe. He's literally a lawyer, and the other dude's the ultimate debater. Exactly. This, this trial's gonna be a pain in the ass if they go against each other. A he lawyer? Be a final boss. It's way better than being a golfer, but for such a young looking guy, I didn't expect him to have a talent like that. He's definitely killing somebody. Hell yeah. His age must be part of what makes him an ultimate. Pardon me. You look confused. Uh, I, I. I'm not confused, I just. I look too young, is that what you think? You know, the main character looks like he drinks coffee, but he cl cra clasps it with both hands. Whatever you say. Hold on. Don't you think the same can be said for yourself? I'm not wise in way of sports, but I've always had the impression golf was an old man's business. <laughs> not that wow. young women shouldn't take the reins, the sport's probably in need of a rival. <laughs> See how he covered his tracks real fast. <laughs> About to get canceled. This is cancel culture. It's a tough industry, but that's because we gotta fight for recognition, not sit around for seven years and do F all. <laughs> Sounds like the average high schooler, now that I think about it. Hey, how old were you when you started college? Oh, thank you. That's personal information I don't intend to disclose. The fact that he's the ultimate lawyer, he probably has been a lawyer at least a couple years, yeah. so... I'd imagine back when he was like 12. <laughs> You're a piece of work, aren't you? That's how much money he must make. What happened to talking about the train? These guys seriously have their priorities skewed. Skewed. Waifu. So... Huh? Look. Mini shot collars. You got a point on that one. Well, yes. Well, I mean, she found out that it was shot collar before you did it somehow. I suspect it wasn't unique to Miss Madison, though. I had tried removing the strap myself, Strange. though I hadn't. Equipping everyone with a strap that shocks them, what could justify them doing something like that? Check vitals, probably, too. Well, what's the purpose behind these straps? Are you daft? It's to shock us. The thing is, we seem to receive a shock if we try to remove it. So, why aren't we allowed to remove these? Huh? Isn't there an ultimate music producer? I believe. Yeah, yeah, there is, too. So, why aren't we allowed to remove these wrist straps? What I want to know is, who even put this thing, these things on us? Mm -hmm. The answer to those questions might be something we have to figure out ourselves. It doesn't make sense. 20 bucks says at some point somebody comes like just, just kicking in the door basically yeah. one of their character introductions. For me to be abducted and taken somewhere, I don't know. He said. That's not what I'm saying. That's what he's saying. Surrounded by a bunch of strangers and forced to figure out why. It doesn't make any sense. Why is it happening? Uh-oh. Hello. Hello? No. Oh, what the fuck? Creep, bitch! About to say, I'm like, you ain't gonna be creepy like that. What the fuck you standing there like that? <laughs> that a fucking idiot. gremlin? Yeah, she is. Yeah, I think she's gonna be this just new yeah. this time. Miss Madison. <laughs> Miss Madison. I'm sure she has a very large personality, and she's probably not like 16 or 17. Yeah. She's gonna say she's like 20. Just like the other chick. Mm-hmm. Hmm? She ain't no kid. For your information. <laughs> Is she ever gonna show her face? Why would you wanna be a cat? Isn't that the little fucking uh the little uh turtle? Yeah, I mean, turtle but like usually they're drawn, Mario? drawn as like old turtle men with bald heads. It's really? weird. And yes. Like you well, said, it's, it's cool, not much better. You know, it's playing. I think Cap for Mario. Yeah. Please be careful what you say to her. This girl seems awfully young. You see? She doesn't seem young. She is young. What's going on here? Why is there a child wandering around? She ain't answered that. 
She definitely 45. That was cool. It was. I still haven't gotten that one more feeling from the show. You know what it was? What? The grocery store floor is feeling. Oh yeah, we, we need something like like that type yeah. of thing when, when things calm down. <laughs> What's it even doing on that train? She's still not human to her. She's not responding to the stuff there. You said she's a kid, exactly. Yeah, that's what there I'm saying. Yeah. Professional just like the rest of you. No. Is that really true? I am an ultimate! Jeez. Come on, be more specific. <laughs> Jess is just like, let me let me see your fully and everything. Wait, hey bro, she still looked like a kid. No, no, it got nothing to do with that. Normally I decline further conversation with rude people like you, but given our circumstances, I shall be sanguine on the matter. What the fuck? I am Toshigo Kaiura, the ultimate matchmaker. Nice to meet you. I didn't see that coming. She don't work in the fucking... I just want to see brothel, oh god. <laughs> That it snuck its way on the train because it saw all the commotion. Fucking terrible. Now a little bastard stuck with us. Look at what you've done. Of course not. Oi! She probably sounds hot with uh, her Australian accent. Come on, when she actually fully speaks. Yeah. Moving on. Probably already saw him. Yeah. Outside the train, anyway. Correct. Right. I'm about to say, is there about to be a secret 17 student again? Oh, God. Where they're going to be like, yo, there's actually 15 students. One of you guys is a traitor. Not sure how they're going to handle that, but I'm sure it's going to be in it somewhere. As does everyone else. Speaking of, would you like to meet the others? I think they should know about you for. Very well. That would be helpful. Yes. I was glad that they weren't about to do this with like everybody in each yeah. room. Like, all right, all right, we won't yeah, need to do that that long. Exactly. That would be helpful. Yes. Very well. I shall serve you, serve as your guide as we embark on this new Take journey. This seriously. I mean, it kind of is. It, it, it's again just the the, the face and yeah. the look down at the same time. Some Boa Boa Hancock I, stuff. Like, imagine her standing over the top. Of oh, whoa, 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 all right, calm down. Say that. Say, settle down. <laughs> say that for yourself. Why? All I said was standing over top. I wasn't saying anything weird. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Totally not weird. It's for the best. She seems to know more than us. It wouldn't hurt to entertain her. <laughs> They even did the whole fading away. Yeah, I was just about to say, I, I've always loved that, you know, perfect way to just be like, oh yeah, they're just leaving, you know. Outside this building, so there's even more to this place than we've already seen. Are there other buildings just like this one? Exactly how big of an area are we exploring? Standing here won't give me an answer. I should find the exit already. Well, let's go! I am. I am sure I want to leave. Looks like the others are gone. Whatever, I work better alone. Damn, they just left you? I guess it's like, bro, keep up. You know, at this point. Yeah, so this was probably everybody's rooms. Yeah. Where am I going? Okay, laundry mat? Like, where, where are you gonna, where's your clothes and luggage at? Laundry mat. What's the laundry mat doing here? Apart from how weathered it was, it didn't match the hallway at all. Could be inside some kind of hotel. Maybe it felt a ruin because it didn't know how to. It didn't know how to spend its budget. Started to kind of lose my focus like mid talk. Hey, 
with that one. I was like, all right, let's not, let's not spend forever talking about that. Yeah. I can get behind this music. Still waiting for the grocery store floor sound. I'm sure that's what this is supposed to be. Uh, <laughs> I was like, okay. There they are. Right, I guess I'll just go in. And it's where we see everybody in the grand entrance to find out you're going to have to murder each other. Oi. Unfortunately. Well. What are the others doing right now? Exploring something else, probably. Filthy. Damn, was she just that annoying to them? Maybe, maybe it's because they said the whole kid thing too. Yeah. Are you done yet? Wonderful. No. Where the fuck was that lock at? What? Just start popping up. I'd imagine. Oh, what the fuck? I was expecting something indoors. What is happening here? Damn. The hedges are tall, but if we try looking for a rope, I doubt it's that easy. The devices we're wearing will probably shock us. Yeah, I'm sure. Let's see if you're right. If you break the rules too much, I'm sure they'll probably electrocute you. Why do they keep making you climb? <laughs> Stop. No. Eh? Yeah, it's not that. It's not a real place, is it? Everything fake? Circular. Yeah. Kind of like a ceiling. Uh. How can this be? We're looking for a ho looking at a hologram. Hey man, they got money. They got the skills. They got the talent. That'd be facts. Then where the fuck did everybody else go, though? Come off the grass. A cost for concern. No. <gasps> You're not too bright, are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Part of the thing about that is like, right, because, you know, no windows, no doors, no way to actually get out, you know? They just brought you here through a wall. Somehow. Sure, if you want to make broad assumptions. You see? In a situation like this, making assumptions is all you can really do. Fair. Whether or not the sky is really is a projection is not something we can do much about. For now, we should remain focused on meeting the other students. What is focus? Oh, it's the other chick. She's sitting there crying or something? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Strike me pink. Oh, it's <laughs> Fuck. you. <laughs> she ain't going to do nothing. Just just ignore her. Damn, she just like, yo, fuck whoever's crying. Be careful. He's too nice. Now I'm worried he's gonna die. <laughs> yeah. Dad or he's a liar. 
Yeah, well, the, 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 I was just about to say, the fact that they said he's a lawyer and he didn't want to disclose what age he, which tells you that he didn't want to tell you anything about yeah. himself, that is very worrying that that's a fake personality, you know? Oh, God, is he like, um... Nagito? Yeah. Crazy-ass motherfucker? Maybe. Who, who was the other They would probably introduce him in one of the first characters. But what about um, the other kid from V3? Oh, Kokichi. Yeah, he was a great character. Loved his character. You can never tell if he was lying or not at the end. That was such a great way to leave the character. And then who the fuck? Oh, oh, that chick, I remember. Her. The ultimate fencer. Oh, what the fuck would I, I say that? Because I thought you were about to say some fucked up shit. <laughs> she seems like a really nice person, Brandon. I'm sure she is. Hello. How long have I been going? Hour four minutes. Alright, I'm not gonna play too much longer. I was trying to see if I could finish the prologue, but you know. I love this though. Yeah, I like it a lot, yeah. actually. Uh, Eloise Toner. I'm the ultimate fencer. Oh, did you already know that? It's really nice to meet what, you. What, the ultimate fencer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I remember besides on the trailer, um, I think they said it actually when she was like standing on the train just now earlier, or I think it just might have been the trailer. I feel like she's not as like quiet as she is. You talking about like it's the coat? Yeah. Yeah, potentially. You don't look at it like like it in her face really too much. She's still the wife of That's facts. Strange. That's not Does she sound like she needs some damn water? Um The fact you got the agility to avoid them though. She looks just basic enough to die. Yeah, she does. Listen to I feel me. like she would be one of the first ones to go out. Yeah. Okay. Kind of like... So at the same time, I'm like, alright, alright, can we get into the actual game a little bit? This is a little drawn out right here, but, you know, I'd rather they take them time, their time to be too rushed on yeah, it. Yeah, you start developing, like, some type of feeling towards said characters. Yeah, because of it. Shit, if it's anything like regular she's, amounts of dog and romper, everybody's gone. A sheep pen. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. If it, if it's any reassurance, it seems my friends and I are in the same situation. Seriously. The fact that he says my friends too kind of bothers That's me. That's a snake. Well. Like he said, since when would we be friends? She got some type of bird. I wonder if that has a, to do with their actual personalities to a degree. Yeah. Uh, um. Oh god. Hmm? If he's the snake, what if they, they V3 us in the main game? <laughs> with somebody else the whole time? Exactly. I think they would just be trying to say that he was like shrewd. Now, of yeah. course, you can make it really obvious and be like, oh, he's actually going to betray somebody. But is this on the back? There is! The <laughs> ultimate <laughs> sniper's back there! Yo! What the fuck? Miss Kyra, Ky Kyra is currently introducing us to everyone. Would you like to join? Maybe. Nigga, just standing there. Just. I think I want to stay where I am. Very well. Oh, when I meet the others, I'll tell them to gather here. That way, you won't be alone. Also, if everyone's together, we can discuss our next course of action. Yeah, I wait here if it makes things easier for everyone. Many thanks. Many, oh, many thanks, thanks. Miss Tolner. Compared to before, she looks a lot calmer. Now I don't want her to die. She seems like she's so vulnerable, though. Yeah. Wolfgang knew just how to handle the situation pretty well, or maybe he just knows how to handle people in general, which is exactly what worries me, because even with that one, he did get, like, really soft, as expected. But it's like the ultimate lawyer. You definitely know how to talk yeah. to people. You know how to use semantics and everything. Anything to yeah, your advantage, right basically. There. Yo, we're going to talk to you over... Yo, why are you just standing there like that? She also got her What's going on, bro? Swans right there. You gonna act like you're not over here? It's going you. It's 
Sniper King. Nice. Indeed. Pay attention. All good. <laughs> he was like, I don't care. <laughs> hmm. I'm Desmond Hall. They call me the ultimate marksman. I automatically don't trust him. Oh yeah. He probably holds guns sideways. Yo, you're racist. How? Oh shit. <laughs> First dark skin character, you say he holds guns sideways. And then her shit shaped like a bunny ears. I think part of the reason I don't trust him is just because of the weapons. Anybody with a smooth demeanor and can actually use Come weapons we, like that, he's either going to get set up or he's going to... Uh, no! That's right, I have a really good eye for my targets. Guns, bows, slingshots, you name it. I hit bullseyes with it. Though I do feel like he's going to get framed. Yeah. Basically, it's like, oh, oh well, the ultimate marksman could obviously do it. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, what? That wasn't me. Hold on. With all those weapons, I must ask, you haven't killed anyone, have you? Whoa. Moving targets are really outside of my comfort zone. I don't remember that. Yeah. Believe me. I see. Though at the same time, he could be lying. They've already got you in the trap. It, yeah, you don't know. And then at the same time, for such a serious question, he composed himself pretty quickly. Yeah. Guess this guy knows how to keep his cool. Which is also like... Look, all this, honestly, you can't trust anybody on this. I'm hoping to be able to trust her at the least. She's a waifu. She can't die. If she dies, then I'm done with this entire game already. He was, well, <laughs> he was fine. Harmless for the most part. Just a little too extreme for me to be around. Situations like this, I prefer to keep to myself. I know that sounds a little less cooperative, but, you know. Yeah. Oi! You all right? <laughs> you... Oh god. Hmm. It's like is he is he not? Is he the captain now? <laughs> she feeling yeah. them. The <laughs> other guy has a dragon. Totally. By the way. Easy enough. Being ultimate marksman must take a lot of diligence. Always keep a steady hand, always thinking on your feet. There's probably a lot to learn from someone like that. I don't trust him already. My, my. And at the same time, too, she's not exactly the most trustworthy considering the fact that she seems like she observed the situation and did accordingly what she wanted to yeah. as well. Combine it with being by herself at the same time, too, I'm like, nah, you seem like you, you think a lot, too. I wouldn't say any of them are downright shady, but this oh, seems like the... the, the oh, wait, this might be nice. it. Nice. That's not it. No. Could you explain? Stop. What? What? Interesting. Tama, you said that because it said bent down. Why? This, I think, this is the grocery store song. Sounds like the best you're gonna get with it. Yeah. Impossible. How could something possibly manufacture a tree of this size? That is weird. Quit it. Why the hell is there a huge fake tree? It'd be hard to uh, hard pressed to find a school with an installation like this. It'd be hard pressed to find find it anywhere. I feel like you only see this in a museum or something. I'm starting to lose my focus. I'm not even gonna lie. This building certainly has a strange aesthetic. That's one way to put it. 
Tree was in the center of a large circular room surrounding it were a bunch of people I recognized from the train. There must be the others mm -hmm. Toshihiko was talking about. Counting the two we just met, this is everyone, correct? Correct. What's wrong? Something wrong? You see? For everyone from our train cars here, where are the other people who were on the train? That's, That's a good point. There were other people, right? Sure. Of course. The Academy said they reserved their train for its students. <laughs> yeah, but did you actually see anyone? I never left our car, but I know Miss Madison did. I... Huh? I apologize. You mentioned leaving for the bathroom, remember? <laughs> yeah, I think about it, they uh her character was a dead giveaway when she first said that. Yeah. She could be a liar. That's true. But she seems like really scared to do that. Especially for someone who's the ultimate yeah. matchmaker. I know you'd be obsessed with creating, you know, friendships and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah, that's what I would imagine. The whole thing was pretty baffling. The other students are on the train passed out. Where are they now? They didn't pass out. Why did they not help us escape our car? Hmm, let's see. That's like non-conversation. So I guess I'm pretty much stopping there. Because uh, I know you were thinking the same thing. Yeah. It's like... It's because the thing is, I know we're going to end up talking to everybody, they'll have a conversation together, and then we're probably right here at the moment where the story itself actually gets started, you know? But then with that cutscene and everything like that, you know. You should move around on the menu for a little bit, ASMR. Man. Always save two time slots, that's how it works. Smart that you skip it, That's I never thought of that. Video game experience, my guy, video game experience. You're old. You can call it what you want. And that's pretty much where we stop there, you know? So, I gotta say that was a huge start to the actual game. Yo, what's up, bruh? We're gonna be playing tomorrow, by the way, just in case you're uh, you're still in here. So, you should, you should follow me. That or, um, Probably get on around like 4 or this something. Safe, but... right? Yeah, this is the safes. Check out the beginning of the stream, you know? Watch the game play Watch through, it. you know? Yeah. <laughs> Talking it's all weird. As hell. But, um... Yeah, you know, I, I like where this game is already going. I gotta say that this has been pretty top-notch. This feels already. like the I actual was, creators made it. Yes, I was not expecting that at all, you know? And uh, the voice acting. The voice acting was, was top quality, to too. Complaints. Yeah, it doesn't sound like you just got somebody randomly speaking into a microphone. I mean, people are gonna make whatever they gotta make or whatever. But it's still, like, levels to it, obviously, so you know? So far, this feels like Diagorama is, like... <laughs> HBO took over for a second and he added like a yeah, right. serious tone to it. It said something right there too. It says there? I'm actually one of the VAs. You didn't get to my char character yet, I guess. But she's in the room you're currently in. Oh, that's awesome. How'd you like doing the uh, the game? That's so cool. <laughs> Why'd you just say it like that? Uh, that's I don't know, because that's really cool. Remember, we were talking about like how they mm. made the game and stuff like that. Well, that's perfect timing for what we were talking about. Yeah, you guys did amazing on the actual voices, though. I was I was kind of expecting like you know a little bit different, but glad it was a uh, high quality like that. Oh, thank you too. You two are so sweet. Thank you for your kindness. No, like you guys, you killed, killed it. it. And that's and only this part, this far into the game though. So I can't wait to actually see you know. The rest. Especially from like an artist's point of view, to see somebody create something. Even the fan made like this and it's so high quality, it's just really amazing. Yeah. And as far as like the storyline for the game so far, I like how it's kind of um it's really stuck to Dagarump itself, but then it's not like, okay, we're also just trying to just copy the game one hundred percent every single ounce and just really cookie cutter change everything out interchange interchangeably, you know? Excited to see you react to my girl. Oh no, now we definitely got to <laughs> see. Oh my god. Which uh which which character would you would you rather keep it a surprise on this one? Like, because I know it could be cool. yeah right. And make sure we give a, a honest reaction to the character, you know, yeah. without knowing which one it actually is. I'll definitely be ne back next time if, if I'm awake. If not, the character is Deanna. Diana. All right, we'll make sure to remember that. Oh my God, this is so cool! The fact that they're here, I, don't, I feel like I'm talking to a celebrity. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm so. Oh my God! Oh my God! No, stop! <laughs> stop! But anyway, 
Alright, so I guess that's pretty much where we're in the stream and everything. I want to thank you for joining, of course. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to check out the, the Twitch and everything. The personal channels and TSV. Don't forget to follow and subscribe. And uh, yeah, you know, I guess we'll just take a quick awkward pause for me to actually stop this live stream. Where's the camera? I'm going to stare directly at it. The camera's right there. I didn't, I didn't say make it that damn awkward. Have a good night. Man, it's still staring.